boys came across some blackberries in the yard. I haven't cut the grass out here in a while, but I'm glad I didn't because now we have a bunch of blackberries growing on the ground. So we're just looking around for some more. They're pretty sparse right now. Lots of them are still green and red. And you have to be careful because they will stick you. Guys, are y'all seeing some? Yep. See those right there? Those will be black in a couple of days, I'm sure. We've been living here for a full year now. And uh, last year was sort of an orientation now that we've been through the four seasons we determined that we would harvest everything we could to the best of our ability and not let the blackberries come and go with only picking a couple of cups worth not let the rain spoil the figs on the fig tree before we pick them these are honeysuckles. They grow here. Yes. <laughs> Delish. If you find a honeysuckle, first of all, they smell so awesome. Dustin is a big honeysuckle buck. All he orders is honeysuckles. <laughs> to pinch it carefully, to cut it off, right but leave the little string in the middle. That string is connected to one of these center parts. You see that little green thing moving? And it's going to bring some sweet moisture down with it. Yep. See that drop of water right there? Tasty. It's hard to right see. Here. It's pretty good. Oh, yeah. Well, I think oh, now you guys can see it. Mmm. Oh, missed that one. Add a Had something or was it dry? Add some. Yeah. Steve, now, even if you break it off, you can still try to pinch it again and grab the string. Now so many of them are having. There you go. Are having water. All the ones I've had this season have had the juice. Nice. All of these will be ready to pick in the next couple of days I think here's the old pond we're trying to clean it up I'm sure there are little fish living in it they're definitely turtles and when my dad was young they were fishing it and they, they fished it often bass and brim and things like that and catfish but there's so much stuff living around it and the water fluctuates a lot. You can see all these trees, mostly willows. They're usually on the bank for most of the year. But here's this big one that fell across. And lots of sticks and branches and logs floating in there. You can see another one that fell across in there. And the boys and I went in the little Joe boat a few weeks ago and threw lots of things out and hooked a rope to some of them and used the lawnmower to pull them out. But we need to do a lot more of it before we can even try to fish in it and see if anything's in there. So that's one more project. We have these really pretty irises that grow everywhere out here. I don't know if they're wild or if they just spread over the years from something my grandma once had in the garden. Sort of a indigo I guess bluish purple but then I just came across these this light purple so I cut some of both we'll bring them home to Mrs. J she can put them in a vase They're really cool you can see several of them I'm sure glad you guys saw this I would not have thought that the berries were ready at this time of the year 
some flowers, yeah. See, if we hadn't seen these, uh, we it might not have been till next weekend when we tried it uh, to look. And these that we're picking now would have been all gone and rotten. See, we even have these flowers. I don't know what they are. But they sure are cool looking. Look at this tall head. Almost look like looks like some kind of grain or something. This too. Yeah, here's a big loose one. Those are so good though. Those are the kind you just eat. Because they're going to get smushed in the box. Alright guys, so what did y'all get? Um, Blackberries. Yeah. From way back there. Some Everybody there. picked a fair amount, huh? Yeah. Sim, you got a bunch. This is yours, Sim? Some of my Nice, and Tim wasn't there the whole time, but he still got a good bit. And a Steve dropped some and ate some. <laughs> I got a few. So, you, while I was with you, it was probably 20 minutes. And then y'all did another 20 more at least. So, less than an hour, I'd say that's not bad, especially at the beginning of the season when there aren't a whole bunch of them ripe. But y'all said y'all found a couple of gold mine patches. Mm -hmm. That had a good bit and some honeysuckles. Yeah. So what do y'all want to do with them? Make a smoothie. A smoothie oh, okay. Blend them up. It's probably not enough to make a pie or to preserve in jars, so I guess smoothies will work. But we need to find a way to not have all the seeds in there because the seeds are kind of aggravating, right? No. I, I'm, yes, I'm they fine are. With, I'm fine with seeds. <clears throat> like when we used the kiwi and the seeds were in there, it's kind of kind of aggravating. But we can mush them through a strainer, like mush half of them through a strainer and get the juice and then throw the other half in their hole maybe. We'll try it like that. All right. Sign us off. Uh, <laughs> Pound uh, it noggin? No, that's another one. Be perfect. Yeah, all right. Thanks for watching Survey Homestead. Take care. We'll see you on the next one.